after studying this module you shall be able to know about the standing of forensic science in criminal investigation you will learn the existing challenges in the scientific approach of a criminal investigation you will learn inventive concept for the progress of forensic science over the past several years there has been growing public awareness and excitement over forensic science influenced by the popular media treatment of forensic investigation in the television programs movies and magazine articles no doubt in that with the development of criminal justice system there has been several significant social legal and scientific changes in the various domains of forensic science several scientific and technical breakthroughs have fundamentally enhanced the types of assistance that forensic science provides to the criminal justice system the legal cultural professional and organizational changes have shaped science and its application in the existing criminal justice system it has been recognized for decades that scientist and lawyer do not think and reasons alike that they employ different value system in their treatment and interpretation of the evidences the forensic scientist goal of being scientifically competent being honest with respect to one's qualification and finding and presenting complete and impartial reports and testimony can be compromised in the adversarial process although forensic laboratories are generally equipped with important and powerful scientific techniques but there is a need for enforcement of professional standards adoption of procedures yielding reliable results and coordination with the large scientific and legal communities now let us move to the next topic impediments encountered in unrestricted development the quality and reliability of the laboratory results are continually in question and there is a pressure on the field to engage in research needed to substantial laboratory conclusions that lead examiner to individualize forensic evidence in addition high professional standards for individuals and facilities are needed throughout the forensic field there is also great public acceptance of forensic techniques but along with it greater pressure to perform at a higher level lastly there are demands for better funding support of public forensic laboratory in order to stem mounting backlogs forensic laboratories suffer from a lack of resources and substantial scientific and organizational shortcomings these deficiencies threaten to limit forensic science services to society and undercut its presumed scientific foundation the crime investigation television program glosses over the painstaking meticulous work and characterizes many forensic investigation science on television always seems to produce all the answers but this is something just not accomplished in a real life in turn has resulted in a real life problems for criminal justice officials the public in general and adjury directors in particular expect local police and forensic laboratories to replicate what they have seen on television programs the paradox in the fields of forensic science are identified today and laboratories are outstandingly floating their scientific breakthrough but they are simultaneously criticized when unscrupulous examiners lie about their credential and test result or use traditional techniques that lack firm scientific grounding now next we have legal access to the technical conclusions over the past century scientific evidences have principally been a tool of government crime laboratories and used mostly to strengthen criminal prosecution 
most of the crime laboratories are under police control and many laboratories will only perform their services for law enforcement agencies. Most laboratory employees are civilian scientists, however, do their best to maintain independence and neutrality throughout the examination of the evidence. The purpose of expert evidence is to provide the court with the information based on scientific result, the interpretation of which is outside the experience and the knowledge of the judge and the bench. It is the court's responsibility to decide whether there is a need for an expert evidence and to also establish the competency of the expert witness. If expert evidence is clear and not contradicted by any other evidence, the court should accept it. If the evidence is not strong or there is evidence which reverses the expert's judgment and bench may reject it. A specific part of struggle in the explanation of experts' evidence by court arises in the communication of threat and likelihood. The courts ultimately have to make a clear judgment about the case. By contrast, scientists can rarely give black and white answers and instead have to present a range of possibilities with as far as possible an indication of their relative probabilities. It is superficial that there is a still a pronounced arrangement of misperception concerning the best method for performance of numerical evidence to juries. There is a significant room for improvement in the way that statistical evidence including the risk and probabilities is presented to the court. In order for this to occur, there is a need to be a better understanding of the forms of wording and presenting that are easiest to understand and least misleading to members of the general public. The resolution of conflicts and uncertainties surrounding the presentation of statistical and scientific evidence would be greatly facilitated by existence of effective mechanism to encourage interchange between scientists and lawyers and the judges. In order to prepare for a trial, a criminal defendant and his defense counsel have access to the reports, notes and test results that will be used to prosecute the defendant. Further, if defendant has the resources, he may ultimately access the evidence for retesting. The reliability of test result is also at the top of forensic agenda. Today, the discovery provides means to examine and verify the work performed in the government laboratories. The new existing standards of Dobbs are followed for general acceptance and the fact the civil courts judges have applied these standards far more rigorously to the expert testimony than the criminal court judges. Now we have the scientific approach and its implication. Forensic science has evolved over the past several decades on a dual track that has now emerged in full public view, unveiling both the field strength and the weakness. On the one hand, the strength shows that forensic evidence can be without fear in the identifying person and using physical evidence to link offenders with their crime scene and the victims. Forensic evidence also has the power to accelerate a wrongly accused and innocent person. Theoretically, at least forensic evidence should be neutral with the scientist not having a stake in the outcome of the case. The field even has its own public relation firm in the form of the media, which taught forensic methods at every opportunity. Forensic science is critical to efficiency and effectiveness of the criminal justice system. The main contribution that forensic science make to the criminal justice system is the generation of intelligence to assist investigation, the provision of actual evidence to convict the guilty or exculpate the 
innocent represents a small although very significant part of its role once a crime has been identified potential evidence at the scene or on the victim or suspect is identified and recovered usually by scene of crime officer although in more serious cases forensic scientists form the forensic service providers may also be involved some potential evidences are recovered in the laboratory rather than at the crime scene is subjected to detailed examination and analysis using a range of techniques the value of any forensic evidence is critically dependent on the interpretation of the scientific test result necessitating an awareness and understanding of the particular circumstances of the case in the question the choice of item to be submitted for testing and the priority awarded to them also has a major impact on the benefit to the investigation that is derived from forensic analysis furthermore appropriate action needs to be taken by the police once the forensic test results become available the power of forensic science to facilitate the administration of justice is therefore entirely dependent on the ability of a police and others to use it effectively now let us move to the emerging innovation and its consistency forensic science is a science used for the purpose of law a broad definition in terms has adopted and it includes the full spectrum of forensic science from basic research to applied technology thus the term forensic science here refers not only to the typical services offered by the main forensic science providers such as toxicology dna hair fiber footwear tool mark firearms drugs and document analysis but also to research that underpins the development testing and introduction of a new forensic technology forensic pathology the examination of human bodies to determine the cause and the manner of death in the criminal or suspicious circumstances is also included with the definition as soon as professor sir alex zafri and his colleague discovered dna profiling technology in the 1980s in the course of research into dna variation and evolution of families of genes the potential of the technology was soon realized dna was found to be sufficient stable and resalient to be extracted from the sample of the body fluid and the same dna profile was found in all cells of an individual dna profiles could be obtained that were effectively unique to an individual the first use of dna profiling for detection of was used in lancashire in 1986 during a rape and a murder investigation that subsequently become known as pitchfork case after the man eventually identified as a perpetrator colin pitchfork the scientific integrity and reliability of dna testing have helped dna replace fingerprinting and made dna evidence the gold standard of forensic evidence dna evidence went on to be successfully used on case by case basis in a number of investigation in another forensic area testing of saliva found on the bite mark that were originally thought to be from the same person using visual comparison found that saliva samples actually had dna of different origin similarly fingerprint handwriting firearm identification methods have strong practical and legal acceptance now let us summarize what we have learned in this module the forensic scientist goal of being scientifically competent being honest with respect to one's qualification and findings and presenting complete and impartial reports 
and testimony can be compromised in the adversarial process. The quality and reliability of laboratory results are continually in question and there is pressure on the field to engage in the research detail to substantial laboratory conclusion that lead examiner to individualize the forensic evidence. The paradox in the field of forensic science are identified today and laboratories and floating their scientific breakthrough but they are simultaneously criticized when unsurplus examiners lie about their credentials and test results or use traditional techniques that lack firm scientific grounding. It is the court's responsibility to decide whether there is a need for expert evidence and also to establish the competency of that expert witness. The reliability of the test result is also at the top of forensic agenda today and discovery provides the means to examine and verify the work performed in the government laboratories. The value of any forensic evidence is critically depend on the interpretation of the scientific test result, necessitating an awareness and understanding of the particular circumstances of the case in question.